Uh, Sebastian asked a question. He says, I started my full-time career as a fighter fighter, firefighter at 21. It's been seven years and I've been loving it. I've often heard in the past recommend barbell and maybe kettlebell complexes to firefighters, but I'm curious, how would you structure a training program to keep a guy healthy and fit for a duty, uh, healthy and fit for duty for a career from say the age of 21 until retirement at roughly 55? Well, as you know, uh, we have an, we have a firefighter in the inner circle and I work with a lot of firefighters. One of the reasons I like complexes so much for firefighters and really any rapid responders, uh, Sebastian, any, any rapid responder, uh, frankly, uh, is that you can get a lot of work in, in a very short amount of time. Uh, you get your mobility work in, you get strength work in, you get power work in, you get hypertrophy work in. In fact, that's, that's when it became part of Mass Made Simple is when uh, some of my athletes, their dads who were firefighters, started doing them at the fire station. They were all getting all buffed. And so I figured if it made firefighters feel good, look good, and feel buff, well, win, win, win. So uh, I would say complexes two to three times a week uh, would be a, a solid thing to do. And I I offer you six different complexes. I, I know they're over at Dan John University. Uh, and I also have them blown up so you can just type them out, put them on the floor in front of you. I have six different barbell complexes. I have a couple of kettlebell complexes. I've got the, um, well, the armor building complex. I've got the humane burpee and uh, the butt blaster 5000 and some of these. Some of those are in the hard style kettlebell book. A lot of them are right there on the YouTube channel. Um, mixing, uh, you know, it might be a really good idea for you to, to do like two weeks of barbell complexes and then one week of kettlebell complexes. I don't think that's terrible. Uh, I would focus on complexes A, B, and C from my materials um, for you. Some of the other ones are fine, but they just get a little bit, you know, they start going in different directions. Uh, C has a lot of squats. <laughs> Um, I would vary the, the reps and sets every single time as best you can. Five sets of five, three sets of eight, which is much harder than it sounds. Uh, five sets of three, five sets of two. In the book, Mass Made Simple, I, I kind of show you how I play around with those. I use a lot of variation on it. Uh, and that third week, uh, maybe do the armor building complex twice and maybe the humane burpee twice. Two weeks barbell complex, one week uh, kettlebell complexes. I know a lot of firefighters uh, like to do bodybuilding exercises. I know this because of my time with you guys, but I think it's probably a better idea and up to age 55 as best you can. I'd love it for you to have a one day a week, a full mobility workout, one hour plus, just getting stuff lubricated, put back in place. One other day a week of some, probably some long cardio, Whatever that means, that could be a long bike ride for you. It could be a triathlon for your friend. It could be a long run for somebody else. It could be a swim for somebody else. For me, it's a long walk with a, a ruck or heavy hands, something like that, but long. And we're looking about an hour at least, an hour at least. But the other thing I think a lot of firefighters miss is either hill sprints, which I think would probably be better for what you're asked to do with ladders and things like that. Um, or just pure sprints, if that's the situation you're in. You could do stadium steps, but some kind of speed work that's not gonna damage you. The upside of doing hill sprints, I've never had an athlete get hurt doing hill sprints. I did hurt myself doing stadium steps when I was young. I missed a step because I was an idiot. Um, sprints are great, but you know, you, you gotta make sure you're going fresh, you have good technique. You don't, I don't want you to pull a hamstring or something like that. So, yes, complexes. Yes. I love the idea of three days a week for two weeks with the barbell and then those four workouts with the kettlebell on week three. But you got to get that long, that long distance day in. You got to get the hill sprint day in and you got to get the mobility day in. If you're weightlifting three days a week and you're doing, uh, say, like this is a, a make it a week one, day one, you do your complexes, complex A. You do three sets of eight, followed by hill sprints. The next workout, complex B, 
five sets of five and long slow distance uh, the third day just like complex c uh, anything you think you need to work on in the weight room and then the next day the day four would be mobility day and maybe follow that with a long walk um my work my I have a lot of family members who are firefighters you know one of the things that they always say is, you know, you, you know, you, you have to be ready for something that you can't even imagine. That I've been told, it's when I ask the, you know, how can I help with the training? One of the things that the older firefighters, I mean, my cousin Jim Alio telling me this, one day something's going to happen that you're just not prepared for, and you still got to go do the job anyway. So by having that endurance background, those complexes, pushing yourself through, but staying alert and practicing your craft, go to the classes, pay attention, sit up front, take notes, practice all your skill set. Um, if you can, uh, we, we were at a RKC not long ago with a firefighter, and we talked about training with masks on. I think there's some there, there's real value to that if your if your um, department allows that. Um, and just take care of your stress level, take care of your mobility, do the complexes, get the other work in, and practice your craft, all right? Thank you, and good luck to you, okay? That's a, it's a good question, okay?